and settling in. Establishing your posture in both the body and the mind. Releasing tensions in the body. Releasing tensions in the mind. See if you can send your sit bones down into the ground and let the spine just grow away from it. Use the image of like an ant stretching out of its nest or perhaps um, a turtle moving away from its sh um, shell, from its home, leaving the cave. The spine leaves the cave of the legs, of the pelvic floor. And we're gonna exercise finding that center line within us. Moving as I breathe out, I move towards my right knee, bringing my left shoulder to my right knee. Come back to center. And breathing out, I move towards the left. Come back. And again to the right. Coming back to center, just staying here, and maybe a little bit more space in the hips, so the spine can grow a little more. And again, we're just exploring this center line, the core of our body. A cat cow on all fours except sitting. I breathe in, send the hips down, opening the chest, arching the back. In breathing out, I curl my back, exploring the space of my center line. Sending the hips down to breathe in and reach an arch. Then exhaling, curling the pack, including the pelvis, sending the hips down, and curling under. Come back to center. Again, sensing the body, sending the core of the body. And using a different vector. Just bending to the side, send the left hip down and move to the right. Let the right ear flow down as you exhale. Back on your inhale. And right hip goes down and moving to the left.
and come back to center. And again, sensing the center line, the grounding of the sits bones, of the pelvic floor, hollow in the hips. And from that, you're just moving up the spine. You may want to turn the screen away so you can have something to look at that's not a screen. Open your eyes. Don't send your eyes out. Let the eyes, the actual physical eye, recede into the eye socket towards the back of the skull. Let the world a division come to you. No searching, no latching. The field of vision will keep changing. I'm allowing the world to come in rather than reaching out. quite unfamiliar for most of us. Notice the tendency to want to focus on something. Let that go. And then just open the ears, even though we can't physically open the ears, allowing sound without discrimination, without judgment, without naming. Noticing sounds, wherever they are. I'd like to close your eyes, go ahead. You can keep them open. And bring your attention to your breathing. As I breathe in, I'm expanding out to the world, reaching out. As I breathe out, I integrate my experience back towards my core. Playing with that expansion and integration. Just sensing the world. Then letting go, slowly, slowly of the inhales, we're still inhaling, but mentally emphasizing the integration part, coming back towards my spine. Experiment with lengthening the back of the neck, just dropping the chin slightly. See if it helps you. It 
sitting in open awareness. No latching onto anything, no naming, just open awareness. This is also called resting in the Alaya Vijnaya, resting in all possibilities. And coming back to that sense of the center line, gonna examine it slightly differently. Keep that image of reaching out away from the cave. The torso reaches away from the legs. Like perhaps a bear that stretches out of its cave. I look at the very beginning of that core, of that center line, the space between my legs, between my hip bones. This is where the womb, where I was nourished once, the space between the legs, this is where I left mother. And then further up, there is the navel, that place of contact with mother the nourishment within the womb. And further up at the chest is where I got nourishment after birth from mother, from mother's chest. the throat and the mouth where I take nourishment from mother and the world. My nose taking the world in and exchanging with the world. My eyes seeing mother and also reaching out to the world, moving away from mother and the brain, taking the world in, bringing it back into myself. This center line is my contact with mother. The earth I sit on is my mother, that which nurtures me. The sun is my mother.
all beings, whether human, animals, plants, or mineral, I can see them as mother, as that which nurtures me, that which gives me life. Every being is my mother. As I reach out to the world, as I leave mother, and yet I see every being is mother. And I am also mother of all beings. I nurture all beings, whether human or animal, or plant, or mineral. I move away from mother, reaching out to the world, touching the world, and like a child, playing hide and seek with mommy, moving away, but always knowing I will come back to mommy. Mommy will find me. I reach out to the world, to see it is my mother. Thank you. 